with just six years left to go. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres is concerned efforts towards achieving the Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs worldwide are either moving too slowly or regressing. More people are poor, more people are hungry, more people are being denied health care and education. In spite of this, Barbados is said to be doing well on most of the SDGs. Because Barbados is, and we have assessed that together with the government, um, is on track with most of the goals, having half of the 95 uh, targets uh, to be met, or for some met, by or before 2030, and some others needing some acceleration. This is far above the global average or even the regional average. The 17 goals include ending poverty and hunger, as well as ensuring quality and equitable education. Minister in the office of the Prime Minister with responsibility for the SDGs, Senator Dr. Chantal Monroe-Knight, says government is committed to achieving them. According to her, it's why the state will be stepping up its advocacy for more accessible financing for climate adaptation. We are in the process of putting together a Barbados investment um, plan. And that investment plan is essentially um, going to allow us to prioritize our critical program areas that are about building climate resilience and then being able to say to partners, how can you come to the table to help us fund that? And helping us fund that is also about, like I said, not just about financial resources, but also as well, what can you bring to the table in terms of technical resources as well? Her comments came during the unveiling of a SDG-branded transport board bus, a first for Barbados and the Caribbean. Chief Operations Officer with the Transport Board, Linda Holder, says the agency recognizes the importance of aligning its operations with the SDGs to create a positive impact. When persons travel on that bus, they're not only going to be going to their destination, but they will be actively participating in a movement that aims to create positive change. As we unveil that bus this morning, we look at it as a symbol of hope and progress. We expect that it will inspire conversations, it will raise awareness, and it will prompt action within other communities. Senator Dr. Monroe Knight says the SDG unit within the Prime Minister's office will be rolling out an extensive educational campaign on the goals. Included will be a video to be shown on transport board buses. Sharika Griffith. CBC News.